Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here playing Fallout 4. This is the Prankster's Revenge Achievement slash Trophy Guide. You will need to be a decent way into the game in order to be able to do this. About 10 to 15 hours should suffice. Now the best place to do this is probably in Diamond City, although you can realistically do it anywhere on any one. Next up, you're gonna need to have a specific perk. It is in the level one perk of Perception. The second rank of the level one perk allows you to pickpocket people and place live grenades into their inventory. If you want maximum special stats, I have a separate video on that. Feel free to check it out if you don't wanna waste your stat points on the first level. Also, if you're doing this, I recommend doing a quick save as I'm doing on screen. Number one, if you do this method, it might screw up some stuff with the people in Diamond City. You don't want to do that, so you can revert back to the save. Also, if you don't want to permanently spend your level up points on those two perks, feel free to quick save before, apply them, do the achievement or trophy, and then go back and revert so you can spend your points on different perks that you might find more useful. Now, if you're in the market during the day, talk to either the gun supplier or the ammo supplier. If you're here at night, just feel free to talk to the robot. Buy a grenade if you don't have any on you. They usually do carry them, but they're a little bit on the expensive side. After you have one in your inventory, just crouch and pickpocket this person. Now, they're friendly, but you'll still be able to pickpocket them. You might have to go behind them depending on the actual person. And then just go to your weapons, go to your fragmentation grenades, place one of the fragmentation grenades into the other person's menu. This is kind of like a trade menu. It will become a live fragmentation grenade. Exit out of this screen and the grenade will be there placed live and they will explode and die. Now we did do this on an ally, so people might get mad at you and try to kick you out of Diamond City, which is why I recommend quick saving and reverting. But you can also do it on an enemy in the kind of free play area. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to share the video with your friends. Drop a like and I'll see you next time. Peace.